Hi everyone, this is Seize. So this video is sort of in response to a question, a comment I received on my YouTube channel. A uh, One of my viewers named Dak Updo uh, commented asking me if, um, well he was commenting or she was commenting on the health of my nails and wondering what my diet is like and also asked if I take any special vitamins. And then um, the comment goes on to say, uh, they say that healthy nails and hair are signs of overall health. And so I I commented back, but I wanted to make this video just, just so that I don't know if everyone's going to read that comment that I received, so I just wanted to make a video so everyone sort of gets the chance to listen to what I have to say on this subject. So what I pretty much said was that I don't think diet affects the thickness of your nails or the health of your nails. My mom and my dad had thick nails and my mom actually told me a few weeks ago that her nails are really thick even now and to clip her nails she has to use quite a bit of force because they're that thick. And my mom's diet is not anything like out of the ordinary. She's my mom eats Mexican food. We're Mexican and she makes all, all of her awesome Mexican food. I have nothing against Mexican food. I don't eat it often as often as I would like to, but a lot of what she does eat is not healthy and her nails are gorgeous and thick. They're very healthy, but obviously it's nothing that she eats special. It's just regular food. I used to eat everything and every now and then I still eat like like junk food. Even though I know it's not good for me, I do still eat some every now and then. But for the most part, I do try to avoid meats, dairy, sugar. And there's this really good documentary on Netflix called Fed Up. And I watched it recently. And it's amazing how much sugar people eat a day. And one of the things that I, I heard on the documentary is that if you look at the ingredients or the daily value on the towards the ingredients list on packaging it doesn't tell you the percentage of daily value for sugar and so the documentary kind of goes into detail on why they think that is um, I'm not going to go into detail on this video but if you're interested in knowing anything about the whole sugar thing you can go on Netflix watch this documentary it's called fed up I'm not sure if it's on YouTube, but you're more than welcome to look for it on YouTube. It's probably there. YouTube, you can find a, bu a bunch of cool stuff on YouTube. Um, another thing that I do is I smoke and I do drink. And that doesn't seem to affect my nails at all. They're not uh, any thinner or any more yellow than what they usually are. And... I've I commented on this before how even before I was smoking and drinking I still had the yellowy nails the discoloration was still there so it it has nothing to do with my drinking or smoking habits at all that I that I, that I can think of I don't think it does so my nails are thick they've been thick ever since I can remember and so that's I can remember since 12 I was growing my nails and like I commented uh, on the on my YouTube comment, I replied that my mom's in her 50s and her nails are as thick as they were back when she was in her 20s. So I really don't think that diet has an effect on nails. I also said in the comment that I think it's mostly genes. If it's in your genes, you're just gonna have the thickness in, in your nails. Sort of like the, I, I, I said in the comment that it's not what you eat, it's your genes. It's not like body fat because you can grow, you can have brown hair and brown eyes and no matter what you eat, you're not going to change the color of your eyes or the color of your hair. So I kind of use that as an example. So 
I really hope this helps everyone. For anyone that's trying to grow their nails and you don't have the thick nails, I really don't have any tips on how to make them thick. I really don't know. And I know there's a lot of products out there that claim that they can make your nails thick. I don't think they can make them thick. I think they can add thickness to it, which is not the same thing, but it's still a start. So if you are wanting to add thickness to your nails, I do recommend getting the nail strength strengtheners and just keep using that. And I'm sure they do work because I did buy a Sally Hansen nail strengthener before and it really got stuck on my nails. It was like glue. It was amazing. I didn't like it because I was too lazy to remove that with the nail polish remover. But for anyone who's wanting to add thickness, the Sally Hansen nail strengthener worked wonders for me. So I would recommend that. As far as eating special foods or taking vitamins, I don't take any vitamins, so I can't recommend anything like that. If any of my listeners have any recommendations for anyone who's wanting to grow their nails nice and thick, then please post your comments down below and share some of your tips. So that's it for this video, everyone. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll post again soon.